So for this little door handle insert here, basically you just need a screwdriver, some sort of pry bar, pop it out. There's a clip that goes into there or a little holder. So you kind of want to pry from the back, pop it out, and then it'll all come out. give you an idea here of the uh, control panel just a couple little uh, clips there a little tab on the other side so basically just pops right out just put a little screwdriver or something like and pry it right around there and pry it out so pretty straightforward um, I've had this truck for maybe six years and the power mirrors never worked never got around to it I don't know why but went ahead and ordered a uh, new switch popped her in there and it works fine so uh, if your power mirrors don't work, uh, go ahead and replace that switch. Very, very simple to do. To remove the door locks and the, this would be the, uh, the windows, switch, harness. A couple little things here that you push up, push down on, and then pull the plug out. Push down on there, pull the plug out. For the, uh, the top one, the window switch, there's a little, let me get onto it. Little tab right down in there. Get in there with a flathead screwdriver, push that out, and then you can, that'll release the, uh, the plug, then you can pull it out. not exactly sure but I do believe that door pocket has to come out you can maybe try yours first by just doing the one screw up here bolt that has to come out for sure and then there's one on the bottom of this right up in there that has to come out I that one just lifts straight up like in an upward motion like up this way there she sits basically ready to uh, pull the door card off um, there are two things once you pop that off um, you'll have to worry about maybe three um, one is the speaker mine has a aftermarket speaker so I'm not really sure if you have stock how it's gonna work but it's physically connected so those will be connected when you pull that off number two is the wire to the courtesy lamp that's something that you basically pull out the whole bulb assembly very simple just pull it right out and the third was the, uh, if you have this, seat heaters. There's a plug back there that you unplug. So in this uh, video, I had a lot of background noise and decided just to uh, mute it, speed it up a little bit. Um, what I'm using here is white lithium grease, picked up from uh, Home Depot. Um, cleaned off the mechanism uh, for the, uh, the locks there, sprayed them down popped it back in there. Uh, what my neighbor pointed out there is uh, one of these little white, uh, I guess, threads had fallen out. So put that back in. Make sure those don't fall out. You'll definitely need those. Quick little spray again. Move it around a little bit. Put the plastic back. Put all the pieces back. Plug in the uh, speakers, seat heater, etc etc this bulb on the bottom I think I'm reaching there now one bolt there another bolt there So what I did here is uh, actually try to start uh, locking and unlocking and uh, noticed that it didn't work. So I realized, uh, okay, my uh, switch is not plugged in. Let's try it that way. So um, it was sporadic at best. So I took the uh, door card back off. Figured I'd give it another uh, quick lube. Unplugged everything again. 
basically just repeated the process. Uh, just kind of get, get put some more lube on there. So ultimately, what ended up happening is uh, that it basically uh, eventually started working. Um, it was sporadic at best. Put it all back together. Eventually, started working. So here, once again, just wrapping everything up, I decided to go ahead and order a new uh, door lock and uh, replace that later. So I'm just going to button everything up, put the little tray in there, bolt in the bottom. Around the uh, fitting around the door handle, just pops in. Door lock uh, switch. It's kind of working about half the time.